People think New York City, they think lights, camera, action. For us, kind of is the opposite. We're thinking no lights, no camera, a different type of action. We're not going to impress people with our big production of church because people have seen it all, they have done it all. So when you come here, it's literally the guts of the gospel. I get excited thinking about where we're going to be in, in the future, but right now the realities of it are, okay, let's go out in the streets and talk to people about Jesus and see if anyone's interested in coming to, to, to a church. That's where we're starting. The city is always moving. There's nothing about it that's peaceful. It's not the kind of place you go to relax. I mean, there's always sirens, and there's cars, and people yelling, and this happening and that. And it's it's kind of like you've got the whole earth compressed <laughs> into this, this small space. And, and within that, it's villagey, and it's, it's local, and it's, it's all of those things. And you can walk block to block and feel like you've been through three or four different countries. New York is the most expensive city in the world. It makes no sense to try this, to try to plant a church here. And when we heard about it, we thought that makes no sense and we want to be a part of it. I think there's a lot of people here, they come chasing their dreams and they get here and they realize that life is a whole lot deeper than perhaps, you know, the title or the, you know, your status or who you know or who you hang around with or where you live. In a city of so many faces, it can feel like you're walking through an airport all the time. You see people, but nobody sees you. And I think we have the opportunity to create the kind of church in this massive metropolis. There's people who love you and care about you. The thing about the gospel is it's good news for everyone. Our prayer is that they come here and, and they might have been chasing, you know, perhaps, you know, a career, an opportunity, or some kind of level of success. And in the midst of it, they'll find God and. Um, I mean, that's why we're doing this. Right now, we would have just a handful of people who have put their hand up saying, I'm ready to do whatever it takes to see the gospel spread in this city. We have a cell group that's built. It's already thriving. It's already flourishing. You can already feel the groundswell of people starting to catch the vision, which is how you know it's a, it's a God moment. I think about how influential this city is to this nation and how influential this nation is to the world and I think about what the church is called to be and the possibility of building uh, an incredible, you know, Christ-centered, influential church in the most influential city, in the most influential nation on planet Earth. Um, man, how exciting is that? This is a rock barrel.